I'm Ty. My name's Ty. I'm Jimmy. 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 J I M I. Oh, whoa! That's awesome. Like Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, just like Jimi Hendrix. Are you left-handed too? No, I'm not. Okay. It's and totally I didn't fun. die at 27. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some things ahead of them. I, I'm actually. Uh, It's a five-minute timer, and I believe any two people can talk about whatever they want. Uh, what's something that like motivates you, or something that you think is true, something you like think um, is really important? Yeah, walking, health, running. Walking, health, running. Yeah. <laughs> I, I come out here, you know. That's one of my favorite things. You want to talk about that for five minutes? Sure. Sweet. All right. Cool. You know, I'm Ty. Cool. I'm Ty. My name's Ty. I'm Jimmy. 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 J I M I. Oh, whoa, that's awesome. Like Jimi Hendrix? Yeah, just like Jimi Hendrix. Are you left-handed too? No, I'm not. Okay. It's and totally I didn't fun. die at 27. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some things ahead of him. I, I'm actually, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm 67 years old, so I'm yeah. not sure if he was, I think he was just a little older than me back then. Okay. And uh, I was in early grades. Yeah. Uh, we had three Jimmys in there, and they were trying to figure out how to distinguish them. So they tried to change it to James and uh -huh. all that, and it turned out some of them had the middle name Mike. So they had to change that. Oh, wow. So uh, that's how I ended up with Jimmy. So but, you think, like, maybe... So what you had wanted to talk about was, like, walking, staying healthy, yeah. healthy lifestyle. Do you think that maybe that led to you outliving, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, Jimmy yeah. Hendrick? Like, longevity and all that stuff? Oh, I like to think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, I like to think I'm going to live to uh, over 100. Do you think everybody should be working out in the same way that you did? Uh probably have the same uh, conviction maybe okay okay but not like forced to like go no no walk. no don't be forced no. okay you have to want to do it you have to feel good about it you know? well, so what are some of these benefits that you're getting then well i mean i, I, don't, I don't have any problems i don't have any pains uh, okay um, so a lot of people say you know they have pains by my age i don't wake up with pains and stuff sure and i like to think that doing this all my life has probably had something to do with that i don't know that but I don't like to okay think how confident are you that that is the the connection? Like the fact that you're not waking up with pain is in fact by virtue of you working out. Like how closely do you, like how confident are you? Like say for like zero like to 100%. 90% chance? 90%? 99. 99. Yeah, but I, don't, I think there's only 1% chance the other way actually. So <laughs> I think if I went the other way that I'd be uh, dealing with other issues. What would prove it wrong? Like what's that 1%? Like do you think maybe if you had worked out too hard and you maybe had some pain? Or like what's keeping you from well, getting to 100? Well I worked out pretty hard before i mean guys like your size i used to try to lift uh, and try to uh, do leg presses yeah uh, actually if you look at the back of my leg oh my gosh see, i used to had a big boy and uh, i got up to 850 pounds and i could do jeez an leg press on leg press 10 that, of them okay so you know for a little guy like me that's 159 pounds you know that's quite a bit of weight yeah it is I haven't done it uh, in the last seven or eight years, but, okay. but I did do it in my 50s there. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, you have that 1%. Remember if you just talked about like sure. what's, getting, what's what's in that 1% keeping you from well, being I just all think the way confident? Just something out in the air. I don't, I don't really know. I just think that that's just a, a margin of error for it maybe. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel about the philosophy of never being 100% on anything? I feel like it's kind of hard to be 100% on anything. <laughs> Even if you strive to be 110, 120, I yeah. feel like you don't make the full 100% to suit you. It may suit somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe not you. The way how I like it is um, you never know what might change your mind in the future, and it's always good to just be open. Like 99% mm -hmm. means I'm still looking for something. Yeah, things, yeah right? there's still some, some space out there for improvement. Yeah, Time, 15. It, even though it's a small amount. It thinks I'm moving. Five, <laughs> 12 minutes, 45 uh, but, uh, seconds. Yeah, that, there's always room for uh, improvement. Seven, there's always room for improvement. Yeah. Is that a good philosophy to have into going into like running and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Like, for example, right now I'm trying to get to the point where I can run a half marathon. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I did five miles. I felt really comfortable with it. I felt really good. Okay. But like... I know it's something that I'm going to have to keep trying mm -hmm. and keep doing and stay engaged in because mm -hmm. even when I run or anything like that, I get bored part, part of the way of the run if I don't have like a reasonable goal that I can hit every single time I try it out. What do would you, you listen recommend? To, well, I was going to say, do you listen to music while you're running? I do listen to music. Okay, that helps a whole lot. Yeah, and, it does. And the next thing is uh, don't push yourself too much. You know, just like say you did five miles. Yeah. Uh, stay with that for a few days and maybe just in, in, in add maybe just a... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Get that 6.2 out. Yeah, just, just just work a little bit more and get comfortable right there before mm. you move on to the next one. Because I think that's what costs people to fail is when they back off. Okay. Uh, I don't do